Hey everybody, what is going on? Buddy Blackbird here with another amazing Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And uh, right now is the time that the Steam Summer Sale is going on, which is basically a big computer game sale that happens um, every like once a season, pretty much. And they have like video games off like 80% and stuff like that. It's really awesome. So I picked up a couple of video games. I picked up Papers, Please. Terraria, Payday 2, Payday to Heist. Um, I wanted to get uh, the South Park video game, but uh, the discount wasn't like enough for me. It was only 33%, and I'm just going to wait until it lows lowers in price because I have so many other games to play. Um, I have 145 games installed. Oh, 147, I mean. So, geez, it's, it's getting a little ridiculous, but whatever. It's funny. Anyways, we're going to go over working uh, with the this info panel here and um, a, di a couple different things that we can do within this info panel. So the way you can open up the info panel is by clicking on this I button right here where it says info and just clicking on the info tab. We've got RGB color information, CMYK color information, we've got X and Y coordinates, we've got width and height, and then we've got a uh, color marker uh, data and I'll go over what those are later so let's uh, go over here to the left and click and hold on this and come down to like a custom shape tool or something like that you can or you can do a rectangle or anything I'm gonna go to custom shape tool and I came up here to where it says shape click on there and then you can pick whatever shape that you want and then uh, let's click on our canvas here or our picture and drag and notice to the right there is a width and a height box that uh, shows up that's uh, that's new which new in uh, CS6 so that's uh, pretty neat but over in your info panel if you look you can it shows the width and the height of, uh, of uh, what you're making it's also got the X and Y coordinates of where your uh, cursor is at and um, that's uh, pretty much it for this if you hold shift it'll constrain the proportions of your um, custom shape that you're creating so this way you can have the proper width and height of whatever you want to make so I'm going to release it and then I get that so I just wanted to show you about the uh, width and height and everything like that first. Now I'm going to come down to my eyedropper tool which is right here. Click on it. Make sure you're on uh, eyedropper tool and not the color sampler tool. Click on eyedropper tool. And now when I'm going across some of this uh, color, some of the colors on here, you can see in the info panel that it's changing. So at this particular section right here on this basket, the it has an RGB of 157, 73, and 1, and then 27, 77, 121 on the CMKY. And um, sometimes they have uh, exclamation points, and sometimes they have percentages on the CMYK colors. Um, it also shows the X and Y axis, and uh, the width and height doesn't change because because we aren't uh, dragging anything out. So if I hold shift down it uh, comes to the uh, color sampler here and you can see that this text down here changes to click image to place new color sampler and I already have one down here that's red I'll place another one on this like silver no I'll place it right here on this heart I guess no I'll put it on the silver bell so right there you can see the silver bell and what this does now is it always is going to sample the color from that point here on number 2, 63, 15, and 3. So you'll always know that this uh, point is 63, 15, and 3, um, even if you apply color correction effects to it. This is uh, good because... Um, knowing the different RGB values when you're color correcting is pretty essential. So um, I'm going to show you real quick what happens when you try to color correct. And you guys can come up to uh, Image, Adjustments, 
and we're just gonna oh, let me click on my image down here and image adjustments and hue saturation and all I'm gonna do is lower the saturation down now that I brought up the hue saturation we can see that the uh, the color markers here have a little slash next to them so the left is going to be what it was originally and then when I lower the saturation down on this a little the right is going to be what it is now so that's what uh, the color samplers do so that's very helpful when you're trying to color correct and things like that so um, that's good for that so we can see how the uh, the info panel um, helps you create a specifically sized object using the width and height or you can uh, check out the uh, different color information within the photo now the info panel has a options menu here and if I click on panel options we get a, a couple different uh, pretty much a couple different options I guess <laughs> is what I guess I should call them so here's where we can change the different color modes that we're seeing so our first readout is actual color which is going to be RGB and uh, then our second readout we can change that maybe to grayscale if we wanted to and uh, that goes by K and then if I start going over top of here this is the percent of the grayscale that we got so it's good to uh, know what you want to have in your info panel and um, I'm going to change this back to CMYK just for anything I'm not I only really need RGB if I'm working in just a in a like web or TV and then I'll use the CMYK if I'm actually going to like print this picture out professionally you can uh, change your coordinates here to uh, pixels inches whatever you feel like using and then you got some extra information that you can uh, add to the uh, info panel like current tool and all that stuff so we'll do that we'll hit OK and now it tells me that my current tool is the eyedropper if I go here it'll be text or the type tool so that's uh, the different stuff that you can do with the info panel use that to your advantage while you're using uh, Photoshop to um, I don't know get like a pretty good head on what you're doing and knowing really what you're working with so that's uh, what the info panel is good for pretty much a lot of mostly about colors and stuff like that so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial it's gonna be awesome see you guys later